The world of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is populated by wild characters with world-shattering powers. Characters who defend the cosmos, battle monstrous atrocities, and command the elements. And there's also a lawyer. In Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Phoenix Wright is a bit of an anomaly. His moveset reads as a joke kit, throwing documents and summoning his legal assistant for help. He generally hangs out towards the bottom of the tier list, at least before he collects evidence and enters his incredibly powerful turnabout stance. Because of the work required to get him going, most players forego him in favor of established powerhouses like Morrigan, Doom, and Dante. But one man's passion for justice has led him to push Phoenix Wright just about as far as the character can go. You may have seen iHeart Justice compete before, as recently as Maximilian's UMVC3 Twitch Rivals Revival Tournament, and you probably thought his Phoenix Wright looked basically unstoppable. Today, iHeart Justice sits down with me to share how he makes this unorthodox character work so well by giving us the secret sauce. What is up, y'all? KRC Pinto here. Today, I am hanging out with iHeart Justice, and man, this guy, it's all in his name. He's a phenomenal Phoenix Wright player. He's out here serving up judgment, finding evidence, whooping ass. Justice, how you doing today, man? Bro, I'm living the life. Thank you so much for having me. How are you today? Doing great, man. Stoked to have you. Stoked to do the first Marvel vs. Capcom 3 episode of Secret Sauce. It's, you know, a big moment for us. Classic game. Everyone loves it. You know, this character, he's pretty unorthodox, but he's super hype when he gets going. And, uh, you know, you're one of the only guys that really makes him work at a high level. So really interested to pick your brain about it. Damn, I appreciate that. Uh, it's definitely not without its, its, its issues, right? I've lost a lot of hair. Uh, maybe <laughs> maybe a couple uh, couple of brain cells that I'm not willing to, 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 to mention in public. But for you, man, I'll let you know that it's, it's fat. It's, it's a tough life, but I love it. It's a tough life, though. Hey, that's, that's what we like to hear. hear. But yeah, man, so I got a few questions for you about the character. You ready to dive right into it? Please, please, go ahead. First off, I always like to start with just kind of like preference stuff. So open me up here. What is your favorite move of Phoenix Wright's and why? It can be a normal, a special, whatever you just like best about him. Hmm, that's a good, that's a good one. All right, I'm already liking these questions. All right. Uh, so I could be real practical and just be like, man, I really like when he has the big finger that lets him play the game and mob on people. But uh, I'm kind of silly and uh, really, I, I like his crouching light. So the reason I like it, um, and this is very much the case with all of his normals, so they have very long animations. They don't add to his, uh, her, her sit boxes. So this is an active for the length of him like moving, which is just interesting. So it's really a lot of attention to detail, right? Which I appreciate. But Crouching Light, I've always liked it because he digs into the earth and he's just like something suspicious and you kind of like cancel it. So you just... Some, he just like some, 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 some. It's just a really dumb little quirk that I like about the character. And I have, yeah, that's really it. That hits low. He just brushes yeah, your shoe. He just brushes. So he's like, man, you got something on your foot there. And he just kind of is like, wait, there's something suspicious. I just always thought that was funny. Personally. I love that they just full scent into like, uh, what, what are we gonna do Phoenix right, Phoenix right to move set? Uh, you know, he's a lawyer. Let's have him do lawyer stuff. Like, For that's sure. just what we did? Okay, here we go. That's, that's all they did. <laughs> they really ro like rolled with it. It's kind of crazy. He's he's kind of a a miracle in fighting games, honestly. Because I'm almost positive he turned out as a joke character, but but uh, yeah, it's his, it's his low. It's pretty, it's pretty necessary. I think it turns into his only one when he's in turnabout. So yeah, someone mentioned in chat, but uh, but I just like how he says something suspicious. I'll I'll actually like mean this and say it in real life sometimes. <laughs> hey man, something's some, some suspicious. So yeah, that's probably my favorite normal. Let's talk real quick. This character actually has a bit of a gimmick to him, correct? You have to find evidence to get to his like highest power point. Is that right? Absolutely. You want me to elaborate a bit on that? Yeah. If you could just yeah. explain that mechanic real quick, that'd be great. For for sure. So uh, in Marvel Three, they decided to really really stay true to the series and make it so that this character uh is a big struggle just like in his games he's kind of just always struggling until he gets the evidence he needs to really uh you know send someone to send someone to trial and, and send him to jail so his gimmick is he has to pick up evidence so he has uh with with, with certain button presses like in this case uh it's s and any other button so s and light 
S being a, yeah, we'll just say S. S in light, S in medium, S in heavy. Uh, you can get pieces. Sometimes I'm trying to pick up a bad one, but I, I seem to only be getting good ones. So there's actually bad evidence. So he's got right here some glasses that are grayed out for a good reason. So if I switch to a stance and I try to object, it's just to hold it because he's not ready. He doesn't have all the pieces. So it doesn't actually work. We have all three yellow ones, then you get to object and he turns into a, the turnabout mode, right? Which is really, that's where all the, that's where all the fun starts. He gets to play the game, get cool combos, get stuns, wall bounces, ground bounces. Uh, his damage is increased. His assists are all better. Like it, it really turns his life around. It's like he won the, 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 the like <laughs> it's, he won the lottery or something, right? It's pretty great, but yeah, uh, it's great when it happens. It's hard to play through, but very, very, very key to his kit. And he really needs to get all three pieces to, to kind of be, be the, the character that can contend with all of the top tiers, if that makes sense. Look at those points. Those things are gigantic. Yeah, oh my God, no, these are, these are monsters. There's a lot of freedom in these points. You know what I'm saying? This is like almost full screen. This this uh, this one, the, not, the crotch one, ground, uh, wall bounces, and then the jump one, ground bounces. So automatically, he, go, he goes up like seven spots on the tier list when he powers up. So in terms of team position, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is a team-based game. Um, you have to decide on your point, your mid, and your anchor. You run him point. Is that where you think he should generally be run? I would say so, um, in my experience. So the reason for that is because his, his assists are kind of uh, lacking. Now, not not in the uh, in the hype hype area. I mean, this one's cool. He's, this is a little dog from the series called this calls him out. And he hits low, which is pretty cool in of itself. You do stuff with unblockables. But uh, for the most part, his assists are just very underwhelming. Um, when they're powered up, they're definitely better, but that's just so much work, right? You still kind of need him to be uh, present as a point character in some capacity. So now it's uh, he's got one where he walks and he does paperwork. And this wall bounces when he's powered up, but otherwise it's just kind of mediocre. And then the last one is uh, paperwork. Just throws documents at you. Paper cuts are very dangerous. You know, you shouldn't take them lightly, but as you can see, very underwhelming in, in general. Um, so yeah, so as a result, I don't think he's very good second, but he's not bad. He's not bad. Um, I like him point, but only if you build a team around him. So obviously, uh, in my in my situation, I have a, a very defensive assist to put in front of me when Maya's on cooldown. So there's a lot of thought there. And then when people are pressing too much, there's a, an assist capture shield, uh, charging star assist. It tracks, so that's a cool thing. Again, uh, Phoenix Wright is a very strong point. I think that's his best spot, but only if your team is built around him. You can't just toss him in front of like any old shell and expect him to perform well. He's just kind of dead weight at that point because he's, he's just not a very good character fundamentally in, in a lot of different ways. So, but if you're gonna play him and you really just want him on your team, then just toss him second would be like my my advice. The criteria I would I would recommend. You run the uh, the dog assist, right? I do. Do you, I do. Do you think that's his best assist? I would say it's the most universal. Um, I'd say his best assist is probably the... Uh, fuck, I don't remember the term because I'm just a terrible player and I don't remember terms at all. <laughs> when he walks and he smacks you in the face with his papers, the documents. Right. Uh, he, he reads you the litigation. I think that's personally his, his best one, but only when it's powered up, right? So it's kind of like... Is that the one the wall press bounces the when he's press, powered up? Press the witness, yeah. So he goes, bah. And, and it does like, so let's look at the damage. It was like 240 <laughs> skill, so it really hurts. Jeez. Um, and that's partly why I would say that's the best one. But you have to power it up, so by definition, it's like, it's too impractical to rely on. Makes sense. And that's really the only reason why I would say the dog one is, is better. It's just much more practical. You get the value immediately, and yeah. Um, funny, funny comment someone mentioned. And I almost forgot. I think it's worth mentioning. It definitely used to be invincible pre-patch. So they Marvel only had Marvel. In, uh, excuse me, Marvel three only had one patch, and uh, it was to fix like this issue where on certain controllers you could block on both sides, which is obviously very fucked up. Right. And um, the other thing they fixed was they nerfed the assist. The assist used to actually be invincible and go through everything. It would not die to anything. It would only have a hitbox in the back. And they were like, this is too good. And they took it away, which is awful because I wasn't playing the character. I don't even think tournaments were even like 
he didn't even get to see play in tournament with that that broken assist but boy would it have been fun so let's start it off where most rounds start neutral phoenix we talked about he's got to get some evidence to get going i'm sure that affects the way he plays neutral off the bat um how do you approach neutral with this character what's your game plan man it's a good thing i started coaching as of like a couple months ago <laughs> so because that's something i do literally all the time with every team that people bring to me um and i have i have no more fulfillment than getting to show someone the difference between uh, team building and like making a game plan than telling them okay so here's your plan and uh, just so you know there's different ones here's my plan because i play phoenix right so my team my whole strategy at the start of every game is to create space um so phoenix right is not a very potent fighter in the scramble. He has some, some some quicker normals, like these are pretty fast, but they don't have a lot of range. They do have a little wee bit of startup and uh, they don't always combo, which is annoying. So that, that doesn't even always work, which is really sad. But um, as a result, my job is to create space. Usually put out some sort of hitbox, call like an eye, call Maya, rotate between eye and Maya, kind of through this fashion put out random hitboxes on Maya. It, it's a big rotation. Sometimes you throw cap in to get him full screen and have the wrong assist there. But um, yeah, it would normally be something like that in terms of the game plan. And the, the, the premise is once I get all three pieces, I'm still not even out of the woodworks yet. I still gotta get cap in typically because once I get the hit, then there's a multitude of ways that I could get my man powered up through a TAC um, or through like a DHC. So I get him in the corner, which Cap excels at. He has a very strong corner carry, really easy, easy peasy. But then, you know, get the objection power up sort of deal. So that's usually the game plan from there. I mean, if I haven't won the game, I probably screwed up <laughs> because he's very much a win condition character, which there's a couple of those in this game. Uh, Phoenix from X-Men is one that comes to mind. Uh, Frank West is another one. They're just kind of win condition characters. They should, in theory, win you the game if you get them out. So that's definitely the strategy is uh, a lot of, a lot of turtling what people might say, maybe a little bit of camping, uh, depending on my evidence in the matchup, I might even zone. Like if I get this weapon, this, uh, this evidence right here, it's a cell phone. I like to tell people to pay their bill because that's why I'm calling <laughs> them. So it's really fun stuff. Does he yeah, hang so. on to that evidence when you use it? Yes. Yeah, so when he powers up, um, you keep what you have. So in this case, I have a cell phone, a knife, and a vase, a boss, whatever. Uh, in this case, I have uh, a folder, a knife, and I call it a picture of my family. Like, look at my family. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> look at my family. So, like, you know, he keeps these when he powers up, which can be a good or bad thing. Most of the time, there's there's definitely a tier list for for evidence. So, you know, you don't always. The sad thing is, like, you don't always get the luxury of sitting there and picking the one you want. But uh, you just kind of play with what you have, which is kind of a cool thing about the character for me is like a lot of my situations are always different. It's good and bad. Sometimes I'll be here and um, I'll be doing my thing and I'm just, I have the worst luck. Like I'm not getting crap. I'm just picking up dirt, you know, getting this beer bottle. I'm, I'm obviously on the on the bottle right now. I can't stop, stuff like that. <laughs> I, pick, I pick up meat when I'm at full health. Like, oh, there's a myriad of trash situations for yourself. But, but you know, you just hope for good RNG, get powered up. Do your things then in the jail, right? It's kind of, and then the crowd goes wild, right? The ladies love it, the the, the money sinks in. I, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's kind of the objective. That's definitely how neutral is played. A lot of a lot of respect. A lot of respect. Makes sense. What is uh what's Maya doing when she comes out? Um, you're calling her. Is she involta everything? Does she just eat anything? Uh, yeah, actually. So let's show you a little bit about that. So when you call out Maya. She actually eats damage. So if you'll notice, I can't I can't hit my man Feeny here. So Maya, she she's the bay. She's just holding it down. I can't hit him. Now I can't when she's gone, right? But that's that's what she's good at. So that's kind of his 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 gimmick, right? He needs his assistant to, to be able to safely pick up stuff, right? And and if uh, she's out, so she has like a fixed uh, health pool, if you will. When you reach it, she goes away. So She's, she's, she's also, she stays from, she has a certain amount of time. And then she also has uh, like a fixed health pool. So whichever comes first, either you, you, you take down the health or she goes away of her own accord. And then Phoenix Wright is able to be hit. 
uh there's there's some it's pretty great you would think it's like amazing but there's like some bad things you can get grabbed out of it right command grabbed out of it so it's not perfect let's, let's do a, another situation here so let's see if i can remember i think it's yeah command grab right so not perfect but definitely one of his most useful and necessary assets uh he can also call her for an otg so this sits low uh, depending on which one you do, you have a medium or a heavy, goes farther, a little slower, stuff like that. But it has a uh, more lag, right? She has to pick herself up and actually walk off screen, which can be really sad, right? Because uh, you'll call her and then maybe you have to dash away. Oh, she went that way, hold up. She usually has to walk back. Oh, interesting. I think, I guess if you're in the corner, she just walks forward. I never really thought about that. Nope, there we go. Okay, so this, let's, let's show you right here. So if I dash back, she has to travel farther, so I don't have time to call her. <laughs> it's just such a funny situation. Like he's just such a he's such a weird character. Like these little nuances that nobody ever thinks about, you know. It, and and it's the best thing is when like I'm in tournament and people are like, man, you should have done this thing, and I'm like, I I couldn't have done that. <laughs> I really couldn't. So like, so for example, um, when he's in this stance, you can't actually even if you have all three pieces. Um, if I can get something, I keep picking up this plunger. I don't know why it's this bonsai plant. This is what I'm talking about. Some glasses. Oh my <laughs> God, this luck. So good demo right not, there. <laughs> that's what I'm telling. Yeah. Put that back. Edit that back into the part where I talked about boo boo situations and RNG sucking, but, um, notice I'm hitting forward heavy, which is normally objection. I can't actually do it. So I have to actually switch stances. He has multiple stances. So he's got this stance, which is considered uh, investigation trial and then finally turnabout. But yeah. So a bit of a ramble there, but um, yeah, Maya's the bay is the bottom line. She's great. And then she also comes out as a super, which, you know, just does damage. She just, I always like to say, you know, the power of women, because women are all powerful, throw them out, big damage. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So neutral game plan, playing a little defensively, standing back, getting our evidence, taking our time. And then when you get that objection, you just do whatever you want basically it's game time it's yeah. game time yep is there a specific neutral plan once you are in turnabout or is it generally just throw out these giant point hit boxes and just see what sticks depends on the matchup so uh in a lot of cases at least nowadays uh they'll see me power up and i'm well known enough that they're like okay i can't get hit by hobby i'll lose the game so they'll back up so a lot of times they'll give me so much respect that i get a free heart attack and then what i'm usually searching for here at that point is uh is any sort of block into charging stars so i'll show you what i mean by that so if they're standing let's say they're guarding it doesn't even matter what they're guarding but typically we'll say like do like mid right so if they're blocking and i'm just i'm playing my neutral right calling dog assist or whatever assist i have so they're not shields and i think I, I see that like maybe i got them locked down with the shield i'll charging star if i can get the input hello game am i stupid hold up there we go i don't know server issues but anyway charging star right that's just chip not a big deal but then you do see Nomaya, she hits low and my finger hits high so if you can imagine in this game because it, it's rude uh that that was unblockable so and now they're just they're just dead right oh, i hit them for i hit them for like a million and something no one's living that except thor so like they're definitely dead and then from there i get i can take a cat back go for like mix-ups right this guy didn't block his leg so he got smoke um, I can keep Phoenix right in, and I can go for some other mix-ups that are pretty gross. Let's see if I can do a, a personal favorite here. Got all I need. Do something like like this. And I'll dash under, or I'll stay in the same side. Oh, you did that to me a couple times, I think. Yep. And I'm pretty sure dash under that crossed up. <laughs> that crossed up. Yep, it's pretty rude, stuff like that. It's pretty rude. X Factor, they die. And so it's just kind of dependent on how I'm feeling in the moment. Sometimes I'll keep them in, other times not. But most of the time, because of the degree of respect I've earned across the years, they'll, they'll not try to challenge me because they're not comfortable. They only play one Phoenix right once a year. Like, I don't know this <laughs> character. I'm good. So, so this is Marvel. We gotta talk about pressure and mix-ups. Phoenix Wright, you know, what are we doing for pressure and mix-ups with Phoenix? 
What are you doing when you close the gap and you get to play your game and the opponent has to block? How are you opening them up? Uh, <laughs> it's actually funny because it's so hard to play normally. But um, again, when you uh, when you get what you want, you just kind of... So normally he's not going to do it on his own, um, like in this stance, right? So he, like I said, he has three stances. In this stance, you're usually not going to catch anyone unless they walk into your shield, you know, when you throw out normals. So that's, that's not as common. But, uh, well, I'll say this. Uh, it's 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 definitely not as uncommon for people to walk into your shield and maybe get a hit or two, but that's not your game plan because in this mode, you can't really do the best combos. So when I call the shield, I'm really just looking to, to punish over aggression. So if they're just standing there, let's say they're not blocking. So it, it, in short, it depends on my stance. If they're here, I'm just gonna get a hit while they're standing there trying to hit me through my shield like a dummy you know what i'm saying and then i'll dhc and that usually gets usually gets a kill if they're low enough um if they're in this stance um i'm usually trying to get or if i'm in this stance rather i can't call maya which is real sad be, be sad i can throw papers she's replaced with documents very sad but uh a lot of times i'm just kind of playing neutral client calling the eye doing some zoning, right? So my, my gameplay almost changes entirely. I'm not really trying to get the approach, but a lot of times what happens is, this is hard to contest, even for most characters. So they'll they'll push forward and possibly land on the eye for which then I'll object and then do a whole, do a full combo. The cool thing about this is uh, it almost always lets you combo no matter what happens. So, so if they're jumping and I catch them, that's a full combo no matter what. And they're almost always just dead. So this this the gameplay is a little different. You obviously want to get an objection, but it's just so laggy that like you can't really just you don't always get to throw it out. So it's a lot of just like reading your opponent, seeing what they're doing. Maybe they're doing something unsafe. Well then maybe I'll try to throw it out. Or maybe they called an assist, right? Like in the back. So I'm gonna super jump and maybe I'll tag the assist. And then that's kind of how you approach it. After you're in this stance. If they're stupid enough to try to challenge me, they're just gonna eat a down heavy, right? Goes like three, four screen. And then that almost always confirms into def. Like this combo kills just about everyone. Jeez. So, um, but then again, like I said earlier, most of the time they'll run away, so I'll just get cap in. And then the neutral is now caps to play with as he desires. Hmm. So it seems like, you know, as opposed to, I just, I'm summarizing here. You did say this, but just to be clear. So it seems sure. like instead of going in and trying to mix them up, you're really waiting for them to make a mistake and then you can capitalize from there. Yep, yep. So okay. it's funny. That's why like a lot of people, they'll either say they really like playing against my team or they really hate it. There isn't really an in-between. No one's ever, no one has like, no one has a very neutral opinion about my team because it either forces you to play neutral and you don't want to play neutral or you like playing neutral and you're like, wow, this is in, this is engaging, this is different, you know? But this team can force a lot of mistakes. Let's it just look, requires me to be piloting it pretty well that day, that's all. Let's look at your uh, your unblockable again. I feel like that was that was something maybe we can we can go deeper on. So can you only set that up through DHC? Uh, technically no. So if he's if they're standing there pressured, um, let's say so. We'll say something like uh, I've I've walked them to the corner, and now we're in a situation where I'm like I throw out a button. So now they're blocking. I throw out something meaty, and then I just call mine and I can set it up myself. So because like it's so bad to be grounded against Phoenix right. Um, he'll struggle against characters that uh, have flight and have very good air movement. Um, unless you have cell phone and you're powered up because then it's like, it just tracks really ugly, like really well. But um, but yeah, for the most part, you don't ever have to worry about it. If they're, if they're sleeping at the wheel and for whatever reason, and it doesn't really matter which one I use, they just commit to a block. Even if they do mid and yeah. even if they push block, usually this will cancel any push block animation or any push block uh, spacing and basically confirm into the combo. Man, that's nuts. And you're, it looks like the finger, the air point is such a big hitbox that it wouldn't even matter if they like pushed you back. 
Yeah, no, it's huge. It's it's colossal. Like, and the good thing is you can't push block Maya, ever. So like, she's she's not stopping, bro. She's, she'll never stop. And as a result, you're very much committed to having to basically go for something that's only a computer can block. So technically, it's not unblockable because I'm not a robot and I can't, I'm not a task, right? I can't task it to where like I hit them on the exact same frame. But it's pretty hard. It's like a, it's mostly a hard to blockable. For being honest but you know i only play humans so it usually <laughs> works out usually how are works. uh how are his normals in terms of pressure does he have good frame data i'm guessing not before the power up but uh no it's not bad so this is pretty fast i think it's like one of the faster crouch lights in the game um but it's not mashable in the sense that like i this looks like a mashing, but it's really like reusing the animation. You'll notice that there's like a little space in between where the hits don't like go back to back. Right. Not comparatively to like Strange, who's mashing. This is mashable, right? Um, his uh, his his trial stand heavy is pretty good. It, it actually anti-airs a lot of things, but it's it's kind of precise. Kind of precise. I, I say kind of. I can mostly throw it out. Um, I'd say. His medium is just, you know, confirm off of light. This is a pretty good anti-air too. His crotch light can actually catch people that are trying to uh, try dash into you too sometimes. So the frame data in general, not too bad. Uh, when you're in this stance, he keeps the crotch light, crotch medium, sand light. His heavy changes, which is kind of good. I think the, the other trial heavy is a little better. Um, his crotch heavy changes a little bit. Uh, not a bad anti-air if someone's running in. So the frame data in general, it's actually not terrible. It just doesn't hit anything. Like, like, bro, I gotta be like, I gotta be right in their face. Yeah, I'm just like, this is this is whiffing. I'm hitting nothing. <laughs> Try it. And it, like, I did two, and it pushed me back. So I can't even like pressure for too long. He just gets away from me. Now it misses. Medium doesn't hit. Just scribbling in my notebook, trying to figure out why my frame data is so trash. But. Yeah, it's 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 not the it's not the worst, but it's not the best. It's not like the rest of his kit. It's it's inconsistent, so you don't really want to rely on it, right? If if you if you're forced to be in a scramble and I'm running away from someone and they're pressuring me, I might throw out a button or two, a limb or two, um, and just go for it. But those are the only ones that are probably a little more noteworthy. The rest, like his launch, it's very comical, yes, but it's kind of average. Um, it's really just. When he gets powered up, that you get rewarded with, with actual uh, hitboxes. Much more anime than usual, right? This is crouch, stand, hits anti air, basically, jump, hits down. His objection stays the same, but it is a little faster. You usually use it in combos. Uh, his papers all get buffed. So they're like yellow, they're golden documents now, so I'm pissed on them. <laughs> Evidence is faster, does more damage. Uh, so you can combo into it. And then. Uh, Everything else is just a little bit faster. So so his crotch light that's already pretty good is now faster in turnabout too. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, I'm canceling it a lot faster. So nice. Yeah. All right. It's kind of kind of the gist of it. Anything else you um, want to touch on about uh, his pressure and his mix up before we move on? He does have a standing over it. I almost forgot about it. It's, it's very comical. He just, he just eats shit. <laughs> Yeah, it fucking hurts. It's, it's just like, oh, I'm an old man. It's it's very relatable as an old man. <laughs> so I'm not that old, but I feel like it's not. But anyway, uh, it's great because uh, if you do land it, and uh, whether if you're not powered up, you can just kind of gavel. And it's pretty good damage. That's like 300k right there. And then if I decide to DHC, right? That's pretty interesting. Like, especially if they're on my shield or something and I switch stances, then I might do that right after. I might sneak it in there right under the guise of Maya. Hey, what's going on? And then you trip and then you just fall. Um, if you're powered up, right? For whatever reason, for whatever reason they're this close and they eat an overhead, well, just put them, put them in jail. So there you go. <laughs> so, stuff like that. That's the only other thing I forget, neglected to mention, but a very, very funny normal. <laughs> let's uh, let's move on to his Oki. So sure. big part of fighting games, you get a knockdown. It's time to mess with their heads, mix them up, keep your offense going. What's Phoenix Wright mm. doing in a knockdown situation? How's Zoki? Well, it's uh not the greatest, but usually I'll call I, and then if they're blocking overhead, right, something in the gavel if I want to kill. 
It's definitely not great. You don't usually do that. Most of the time, if I'm being honest, if I got a hit with this character, it's because they were sleeping at the wheel. And I probably just want to get out and get Cap in and do something like this. So then only get him back in and power up. So yeah, his Oki is very bad. Um, <laughs> and in this game, it's kind of bad to have Oki because you usually want to kill if you get a hit. The game's developed so far that it's very, very difficult to not kill with just about every character. There's a combo out there for every for every character that should get you into the corner. And if you have any decent, reliable DHC synergy, they should be dead, right? So this is my example. That did like a mill that killed 90% of the cast. Um, and then, yeah, so it's, it's kind of weird. You don't really talk about Oki as much in this game, so the question doesn't really apply as easily. Um, I'd say if I have to do Oki and they're, and for whatever reason I'm not powered up, then my objective is to do something into like, the silent thing to follow, do something into making them block. Because you can still do the unblockable even without, um, Oh, I guess I could do that. Yeah, you're right. We could talk about incoming, but I guess I kind of already discussed that. That would be similar to Oki in this game. Because DBFZ doesn't really have incomings because they saw Marvel and they were like, fuck that. We but had Snap, but they got rid of that. That's yeah, gone. that meta. Exactly, exactly. So in in this game, Snap is probably the only equivalent to Oki. Um, so you basically just want to do as many mix-ups on, on incoming as you can. Because if you're not killing the character off one hit, your team is probably not optimal or optimized, rather. But anything I can do to like get them to the corner, get them knocked down, and then yeah, if I have to do okay, I probably just I probably just screwed up. They should be dead. <laughs> it's, just, it's hard to talk about honestly in this game. Okay, let's pivot yeah. the question then and talk about some incoming stuff. We looked at that a little bit earlier, but let's go more in depth on it. Cool. So um, incoming is is pretty interesting in this game. You can do a lot of crazy shit. Um, a lot of what a lot of what determines if your character is either like lower or higher tier is if you can touch the ground <laughs> like you either have to be really good at blocking or you have to have characters that have options in the air something like that to give you to give you a way out so we'll do something like I don't know, like this no guard. so like I can do something like dash forward dash can do it here hold up something like dash forward dash back man i'm really fucking this up dash back something like that i fucking screwed it up but i'm still trying something like that so you know that that ended up being same side um let's see what I can do here. it doesn't even have to be powered up but this 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 uh mix up's a little more potent when they are powered up kind of stand there and go <laughs> demands a lot of respect that they don't hit a button but you never know oh you can do something like this where like the vase it's meaty i need him to block actually and then vase and then they land in it and then usually they're into an unblockable something like that and then they're just dead and then they're just dead. They're just dead. That's the one thing about this character. It's not the highest execution once you're powered up. You can usually kill them pretty reliably. Pretty reliably, which is a very, very potent thing to have. Um, so honestly, with Phoenix, I like I like mixing him up. But something I didn't even stress that is like relevant to the conversation is um, he has a timer. If you can kind of see at the bottom, it's a little blue bar that's going down. So he doesn't get to be amazing for the entirety of the game, which is so tragic because you work so hard for it. It's just kind of silly. Um, but because of that, I kind of have to siphon it, or at least I'd be rather conservative with it. So as you can see, it runs out there, right? And then I literally have to do it all over again, which is no fun. And uh, ideally, I don't want to do that more than once in a game if I don't have to. So um, what I usually end up doing if I can't get the hit for some reason, you know, they're, they're just blocking and they're just, I don't have meter or they're just, they're just running away from me because they have teleports and Cap usually comes in. And his mix-ups are usually 
a little more reliable, like the shield. Something like that. Um, he doesn't really have an overhead on the ground, but just, just left rights are really handy. I know this doesn't really come into play with your game plan, but you know, things get derailed sometimes. Is it ever worth when you're Phoenix, if you happen to get a knockdown before you have enough evidence, is that a good time to get some evidence? Does he have like enough time on a knockdown to just go grab a piece? Yep, yep, definitely something. I guess that would that would be his most general Oki. So like, let's say I don't, I'm missing one piece and I get a hit. I'll dash back, call that, go for evidence, right? Now I have it, I can go for it. So. That's that's what I would recommend. Pretty good point there. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll I'll do that on knockdown pretty pretty often. But, you know, this is a fighting game. Sometimes you get to unload your offense. Sometimes you gotta block for a little while. What uh what can Phoenix Wright do on defense in this game? Does he have any cool defensive options? Any good challenge buttons? You know, what yep. does he do when he's he's blocking? It's his turn to block. Uh well, uh, crouch light. In this stance, crouch heavy. Also crouch light, crouch medium. They're good anti-airs when people try to run up at you. Literally, because you lower your hurt box and then the hurt box is a little more vertical than it looks. Especially this one. So you'll cancel into something. Oh, he had no help. So it's nothing funnier died. than watching Demon Slayer Virgil get murdered by a notebook. <laughs> it's that pretty, was an pretty solid. That was, I'm going to screenshot that and just put it in my phone so I can look at it when I'm having a bad day. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, bro. Not going to lie. He just reads to him. Okay, you can't be in this game. You're not allowed. It's pretty funny. Um, another cool thing. Um, this is invincible. Completely invincible until you hit the ground. And like you, Not only until you hit the ground, but until you bounce. So, so he's got like a little bounce there. Once he's done, then he can be OTG'd, you know, off the ground. Mm -hmm. That's what they'll, they'll say in this game. Um, but otherwise, completely invincible. It'll it'll just defeat literally everything. It'll, it will not lose to anything in the game. Um, is that frame one? Okay. Like, can you use it as a reversal? This is, this is, yes, it's a reversal. It's definitely frame one. Oh man, that's it. So, it doesn't hit full screen. It's kind of like the the length of the gavel, if you can kind of see it. It's like uh, you might have to freeze frame it, but it's basically just the length of the gavel, like from left to right, or the width rather. So that's pretty solid. Uh, Another cool thing, this one, you actually get more mileage than you think. Well, not until she, not if she dies, but <laughs> let me get powered up here. So it's not often, but there are times where Phoenix Wright will be on defense when he's powered up. Well, this is zero frame in full screen. And it does 600K unscaled. So you can tack it onto a combo and they'll die. But most importantly, like you said, defensively, if I'm worried about getting zoned or some sort of teleport, um, I can literally just um, do it on reaction or if I think they're doing anything because it's zero frame, right? So this, literally, if you're not already blocking, you're hit by this. Jeez. Yeah, you have to already be blocking. You can do nothing else. You can't switch to block. Like if you jump forward and you try to block, you're already hit. You're literally already hit. You have to already know that he's gonna do it and hold back. And the cool thing is, and this is something that's not really explored. Um, so it doesn't really, it doesn't usually get explored because he's just a very underutilized character. But um, let's say I'm just kind of waiting. I'm, I'm playing the game out and I think they're going to approach me and I'm a little scared. So in this game, you can X Factor cancel a button. So opposite of, uh, opposite of DBFZ relative to Sparking. Sparking pushes them away and there's a little bit of lag. There's no lag on this. You can do whatever you want after. If you weren't blocking, you can switch the block. It freezes the screen, right? Well, the cool thing about it is uh, if I do this kind of on reaction, defensively, um, it'll kill every character in the game, I think, except Thor. So it's like with three inputs, X Factor, and then uh, Shore you forward, they'll die. So. Jeez. That's so pretty nuts. And, it's pretty cool defensively, yeah. it's, it's The crummy thing is. Um, Obviously you blew your factor and he loses the stance when he does it, mm. but they're usually dead. So, I mean, at least I killed the character <laughs> and then I can do what I want. I can uh, start all over again if I want and get cap in. Doesn't really, like I can play the game from there. Someone said, what's my favorite evidence? I love cell phone and I love, I won. <sighs> okay, it's kind of, it's kind of messed up. I won a game 
where I was in turnabout. So in X Factor, if you didn't already know, kind of like sparking, it raises your damage, but it also lets you do things faster. If you notice, this kind of hurts. So. That was a lot something. of damage, really fast. A lot, it's, kind, it's kind of stupid. It's kind of dumb. One time I was in tournament and it was our last character. I did this and then I stuck my hand out and I said, good games. <laughs> while I was doing this. So if one hand I was mashing, with the other hand I stuck my hand out and I said, good games. That was an iHeart Injustice tournament, huh? Definitely an iHeart Injustice tournament. They lost and they were very upset. They were very upset. I'm not going to say on record what happened after, but they were very upset. They were very upset. That's awesome. I only did it because because it was a, it was a tournament setting, and I don't know if you know much about Marvel. Uh, we're kind of degenerates, and we'll talk we'll talk shit about it. We'll we'll just we'll just sit there, <laughs> and, and and you know it's mostly playful banner, but sometimes you're just like I gotta let him know, and it was kind okay. of a, it was like a, a region versus region sort of deal. So I I let him know. <laughs> and then he's, he's very mad. This is fighting games. You can't take the heat. Don't go to the local. It, it, it can be like that. It can be like that. I mean, I'll, I'll always be the first to be like, yo, it's just nothing but love. It's just fun. But um, yeah, that guy, had to, he, had to, he had to have the work. He, had to, he didn't pay his bill. That's all it was. That's all it was. <laughs> I Heart Justice, if someone came to you tomorrow and said, look, I'm on the fence about Phoenix, right? I think he's cool. I might play him, but I'm not positive. What are you saying them to push them over the fence? Why should someone pick up Phoenix Wright in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate? You should definitely play this character if you've played the games. That's about it. If you haven't played the games and you're like, he looks cool, play the games first. Because you're going to need some real dedication and love to play this character. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't resonate with this dude, you're going to have a very hard time. It's going to be very hard. That's all I can really say. Because he's just work. He's just work. He's not, he doesn't get easier at the highest level. Um, it only gets harder because people figure you out and things that you got away with don't get punished a lot harder. Um, so so make sure you love this character. But if you do play the games and then you do go to this game and you're like, wow, he's in here, you're gonna find a genuine curiosity, attraction, fascination that I've yet to find in any other fighting game character. And there's so many good fighting games out there. There's really so many, but this character in particular just keeps me coming back. He's just so fun, so quirky, so unique. You get you get your own identity with this character that no one else has. Um, and honestly, he's a crowd favorite. Like, if you, if you want to be the person that everyone roots for, no matter where you are in the world, you pick this character. There's no other character that people will root for more, I would say, in, in history of fighting games. People, it doesn't matter where, you could have just committed a felony, but if you play this character, people will support you. And uh, it's wild, and I, I appreciate it for damn sure. I and uh, I hope I hope other people can find that love and that kind of that kind of motivation in their fighting game choices. Um, I sure found mine. I'll just leave it at that. I love it, man. I, unintended plug for Ace Attorney Trilogy on Switch. Hey. There you go. Nintendo better be paying you affiliate right here. <laughs> I hope so, bro. <laughs> Trying to help them out, please. But yeah, that's that's all I got, man. Thank you. All right, man. You want to show us out with some sauce here? You got a good combo. I know you hit that one combo earlier. I can put mm. that here if you want. But if you want, what's what's like a classic? I Heart Justice. Maybe they, I know you've got the TODs here because you're optimized. Mm. What you got? Phoenix right? I guess the classic one. I would say if we're gonna, if it's only one combo I get to use, I'd probably do the first one. But if you can use that one in some other capacity, um, I would say the classic one is something like, we'll do this. And then he just reads on them and that kills everyone. And if they're not dead, they get grabbed and then they die. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Um, but probably one of my personal favorites that I do all the time. It's not really always Phoenix Wright that comes out. There's there's two things, so I'll let you pick. I'll, so I'll get him powered up. You always appreciate good hard tech combo. <laughs> he comes in and he gets in. He gets to kill himself. Um, and then the last one. We'll do this. This literally. 
gets everyone to pay attention. Is what I'll say. Love it. It's not even it's not even a flashy combo. It just gets everyone to pay attention. So, so let's get say I get a hit with Captain, and I'm like, oh no, they're really not dying. X Factor. And it just takes all their. There health. it goes. Jeez. <laughs> like one of my favorite things to do in tournament ever. They just they just die. It's so fucking funny to me. <laughs> that is insane damage. I love it, dude. All right, iHeart Justice, that's all I got for you today, man. Hey, uh, let's plug your stuff real quick before you go. Where uh, where can people find you if they want to see this sweet, sweet Phoenix Wright play? You got Twitch, you got YouTube, you've got Twitter. Plug it all. Yep. Yeah, thank you, dude. So uh, I'm on Twitch. It's Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Marvel's always on Monday. It's Marvel Monday for a reason. We're even going to play some games after this. So, you know, if y'all are, are here for that and y'all stick around for that, stay tuned. It's coming up here shortly. Uh, I, I make YouTube content. I actually just made some uh, 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 Marvel compilation. I do that as often as I can. I have editors that help me out. Um, it's super funny, super, super funny. I, I, I wish I can get more people looking at it because it's, it's amazing, it's hilarious. I'm, I'm a fan, not just bias, everyone tells me. <laughs> um, I also do coaching, you can send me an email. Uh, it's in my bio, so you can just hit up my bio. That takes you to a link where you can see my email. Uh, so if you want to learn Marvel 3, uh, I, I go through some very pretty, pretty rigorous lessons uh, to help you out, to get you where you need to be. Whatever, you, whatever your goals are, I try to help you obtain them. So at all levels of the game, I've coached some, some really, heavy strong tournament players um you know people just starting out all, all shapes and forms and uh from there i mean i have an ig instagram mostly just just kind of curated content i'm trying to do more with it this year to make it a, kind of stand out uh and then it's a very very underrepresented but i do have a tiktok i'm gonna try to use it more for like informational educational content in general just for this game so that's kind of my goal, but uh, yeah, it's, it's always going to be at a slash iHeartJustice or iHeartJustice underscore. Uh, one of those two. And I'll put links in the description below so it's easy for everyone to go find you. Appreciate Man. it. Yeah. Dude, really stoked. Great inaugural <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom episode. You crushed it. Hey, thank you, dude. Appreciate it. We did it, chat. We did it. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Pinto. It was, it was a pleasure. Uh, and for those you know that want to follow Pinto, bro, I got you. I got you a, a sweet command right here. Well, I dare say we killed it. The the game is is, is bad. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a fair assessment. You have to agree.